Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel for another episode of Cool Tech Tips and Tutorials. Or more specifically, today it's Cool Tech, bridging the power of Core and Jetty together. Today's video is a little different to our usual format. Normally, I would have been excited to show you today's cool tech directly from the Joe Knoll over in the USA. However, with everywhere in lockdown, sadly that couldn't be. So instead, I bring you all a video collaboration with Gunter Zilke from Smoke EL. Now, for anyone who doesn't know Gunter or his company, he makes the really cool electric smoke system that we see each year at Jet Power and other events worldwide. His new product, the Telebridge, allows you to use any Jetty telemetry sensors as plug and play in a Powerbox core radio. But that's enough from me. I'll let the man himself do the explaining on how his great product works and explain the small amount of setup that's required in order to start seeing your Jetty telemetry on your core radio. So it's so over to you, Gunter. Hello, Martin. Nice to be part of your channel. Today I would like to introduce you the new uh, telemetry converter, the Telebridge. The Telebridge is for implement all Jetty sensors or Jetty compatible sensors to the core radio. And now I would like to show you how it works. First you need a transceiver, a receiver, and then you connect the telemetry converter to the bus so and now you can see the red light is on the next step will be go to your transmitter and search for new sensors now the core search for the telebridge and hopefully he will find it yes you can see here telebridge is there Telebridge is pre-installed with 15 values. You can maximum have 15 values from your uh, Jetty uh, sensors. Then first we select the status. I make it middle. Okay. And now you can see here we have found the Telebridge, this one. And now it's connected to your core. At the other hand, it's an open plug. And this open plug you can now connect to any uh, Jetty sensor. I have here a M-bar. M-bar can measure the pressure and the temperature. I connect them. Now I have the M-bar, the telemetry bridge and the core receiver. And all together uh, can work and translate the, tra the data from the M-bar to the core. To find the values of the sensor, you have to go another one to the menu. Here is the telemetry bridge, go to the menu and within the menu you can select um, the protocols. We, uh, we support three of them, it's the Xbox, the real text and we support the normal EXT protocol from uh, Jetty. Then you have the function scan the bus. Scan the bus means look to the sensor what values he can deliver. And if you have to change the values, uh, reset the bridge and start again. So now we let him search for new values. You can see here the search process is in progress. It takes about 30 seconds to scan. If you expect more values from here, then with the first scan you get, you can start the scan process again. Because Jetty it doesn't deliver the value names the whole time. It's only at start time they deliver the value names. So we have to wait a little bit. Now the search is over and 
now I can go here to sensor search to look what the sensor can deliver. And now you can see the name has changed. Now the bridge doesn't have the name Telebridge. Now the name is like the sensor M bar. So we have found the M bar and it still have a status. We leave the status there. Now you can see the connection is there from the Telebridge to the car. And now we will add some values. Search for the sensor. Here's the M bar. The M bar now have two values. One is the temperature. And the other one is the pressure. So, and now we have here the temperature of the jetty sensor and the pressure. The pressure I can show you, it's live. That's it. Now we have jetty values converted via the telemetry bridge to the core bus. Very easy. And that's it. Just plug in any jetty telemetry sensors to the Smoke EL telebridge, which in turn connects to the P2 bus port on your power box receiver. And after setting the sensor information on your radio, you're good to go. Jetty telemetry on a power box radio. Who'd have thunk it? Thank you, Gunter, for the video and explanation. We look forward to seeing the Telebridge in action. I hope you all enjoyed today's collab video. And if you did, make sure to leave us a like, subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you all in the next one, which, all being well, we'll be back to more flying. If I can remember how that's done, that is, after all this time in quarantine. So, see you there. I'm Martin Pickering and I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to come back every Tuesday for a new episode of Cool Tech Tips and Tutorials and on Sundays for flying videos and event coverage. Or hit that subscribe button and the bell that's next to it in order to receive a reminder when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.